This is an upper bracket game, by the way. This is a huge victory. If they win their map pick, they'll be getting not only over a week off, but also will be locked in for the playoffs of the pursuit of IEM Beijing Trophy. That would, of course, give them a full guaranteed ticket to the Global Challenge as well, which for some teams is better than others. Let's not forget, you haven't got the points. Getting that direct invite's the only way to that half a mil. 18 tournament at the end of the year. Zai was hiding under dark. RPK to bait him in. Needs to be shooting now. Hasn't hit anything, but Zai will okay. has. Okay. What great tracking and just drawing the fire again, setting him up for success. But Olaf's taken down Zai Wu. RPK still on CT. That P250 from Olaf could do more work. Cold's got one too. The pressure applied. Jungle is denied. Olaf has the bomb though. Oh, he spotted RPK. He'll plan safe just as that smoke starts to fade. And all will contest. Two coming in from jungle side, and two from CT. Apex jumps out the window. That's a lot of control for Kyirby. He'll be happy with that. They're trying to retake it. Oh, okay. This is getting a bit intense. Kyirby's got two targets. Finally does manage to solve the mystery and tucks in, knowing that the hunt will be on. Smoke on the bomb now. Good point. Need to go. Diffuse on, and he just gives them the fight. Now very awkward in round one, just like that. It came down to those three duels and all three won cleanly by Vitality. Yeah, good stuff and a much needed pistol round here. More importantly, they need to hold on to this because the pistol round that they won on overpass immediately bounced back from phase with some Deagle magic of rain. Let's see if it's a different story here on map number two. With that bomb going down, FaZe have a couple of questions to ask. And I was going to say, what type of buy are they going to opt for? Are they going to drop AKs? Well, they're going to drop a couple of AKs and buy into some Galils. You can see Kyirby, he's purchased head armor and a Galil with a smoke. AK from Cold dropped towards Rain. We're getting a scout on the floor. This is going to look like a very good buy round here from FaZe Clan just in round number two, even after losing that pistol. Cold Zero with a Deagle, no armor. Everybody else looking pretty. Towards middle they go. So just the bodies to force back the players from Window and Connector. And they've done exactly that. Quick little note here about Vitality, rocking the standard five. No Nevera showing his face here today, and he will not on Nuke either. So won't be any substitutions from Vitality unless they mix things up from their previous outings. And that's if we get to the third. They've been put on notice. They know they're dealing with a buy apex. We'll throw another smoke over towards Connector, and that will slow this mid-control default from FaZe Clan down. You can see that Reigns reconsidering throwing that smoke as Forward pushes Masuta on an aggressive mission as Olaf gets the tag. He can even get on out, but Olaf wants to chase the frag. He wants to find the kill. He didn't get it. That looked like it was bang on, and Brokey's forced forward. Masuta will retreat. Oh, hard shot to hit. He, he knows there's one more. And he knows there's one more because of the scout tag. Masuta forced to drop his smoke. Well, that's definitely going to get the CTs a little antsy. That's put Zywu deep into B. And that was just the early adventures. They've got a, a, move, a move towards mid, a move towards A, and oh, good timing, but Apex actually gets dinged for that. What okay, was that from? So many problems. Like that was Galil, yeah. yeah. So Kyoby's aim on point. That AK would have been a headshot. And he's found Zaiwu, Dude, he is definitely feeling much better in that FaZe Clan jersey after some rejigging of their positions. Brokey bed for heads, Apex. RPK is on that ramp, and Reigns jiggle. His bold head gleaming in the sunlight. There's more where that came from. Oh, what a massacre from RPK. Just wins the round on his own. All three of them coming for him. He got the first. Segregates the rest. 6-0 and to start off this Mirage. Well, that round did get dicey, but the tank bails them out in a big way. The bomb just getting dropped in an awkward position there over towards the Apex. Just shooting, almost bro. was enough in itself. But look at that. Lining up for him and Apex. He knows how important that one is. Firing the boys up out of his chair, yelling I mean, down the mic. Really, I'm sure they heard that one. really can't be affording to lose when FaZe are in this form to yeah. those Deagle, those second rounds, those second round forces. They're so capable, and you saw another evidence right there. It was RPK that just dug them out of misery. Well, uh, this one here, Vitality need to get and need to get cleanly because you can see at this point, they've opted in for two MP9s as well as the three rifles. But if they're unable to build a bank, FaZe can stay even more threatening in future rounds. Brokey has enough cash going forward to get the AWP. And He's going to get flashed, isn't he? Is that, what, is that what I was asking for? If he just plays off of Apex's contact, he can swing and mop them up as they come out, but it will be a flash coming. They want information. Zywoo forward, sees one, two, and a third, and makes it all work. The magic from Zywoo here, four clean kills towards the top of middle, and that's going to be the third round on the ball for Vitality. And Zywoo, let's be honest, we said in the pregame, you know, he's been a consistent factor, at least in terms of being a top performer for Vitality. He wasn't on overpass. He didn't show up, and that was Vitality's map choice. He needs to on Barrage. He needs to keep them alive in this series. Yeah, 100%. They can't have, a, a you know, a black mark next to his name.
uh, in a series that's clearly this highly contested and competitive. So a T-side up for Brokey. I always do like seeing how it's plied on Mirage. You've got a load of options, a plethora of different ways you can take it. But here is Vrain trying to play around Molly, hoping to exploit any deep space. Look, a space taken by Zywu, though. He's just charged a cold Zera, and they swing on him. Two players. And there's a lovely upgrade for Zywu. He'll take an AK for an MP9, but Brokey's just entry fragged B. And there's only one more there, rotating in from Kitchen. He was pre-firing the angle, pre-aiming rather. Apex has managed to get into the site. They're panicking, rotating hard, as hard as they can. And huge Brokey shot. does catch the rotator. He wasn't expecting Apex into the site though. And this is huge stuff from the Frenchman. Triple kill on the defense. This is scrimmy as hell. And now puts one man left on a mission. Mr. Rain up mid. He knows the rotate's likely to be heavy B. And so he tries to worm his way up through mid into A. Zywu doesn't have the info. Drops the smoke, drops the incendiary and does get the bomb down. Now, where do you go? What's the after plan dream here? I would love to see him go ramp around the world. Just take a oh, massive man. risk. He's got time to do it. That could be cool. And he's actually running for it. This is an insane play. If he actually goes for this, they're not going to expect him to opt for this in a one on three scenario. This is one of the riskiest plays that you can go for. If they get straight to the bomb, if they use their smokes, they would have already diffused by now. Oh but Rain God, taking oh these liberties, God. he's got a freebie right here. He doesn't even have to shoot straight away. Wait. He goes for it. He has a flash. Throws Shoots it to the up. peak. The bomb is planted for him. Doesn't need to give him the fight, but shocks are just so perfectly. They even missed their smoke. Look at that. It was a world. If missed their that smoke, off. if wow. only. That could have been so cool. Very valiant attempt from Rain. I would love to have seen his POV as he runs around the corner at top mid there, because you yeah. see him coming around, knife out. It's like, wait, what? You see the way Brokey played B, though? Like, that's the first time I've watched an AWP. First man in on B, and I'm not mad. Like, yeah. I'm like, legit. The way he played that looked good. Holding the cross, the only threat was someone pushing in on that kitchen door. If he had someone with him to hold that cross to the site, damn, son. It was a good attempt there from Rain to make a meal of, well, not make yeah. a meal, have a meal of that one on three. Oopsie, slipped out of the window. That's no fun for Zywe. He's going to have to recover from that. He was trying to do the strafe, and now they're committing middle. This is uncomfortable for the French Orpa, and it's lost his life. A very rare mistake has given FaZe an opening kill. Okay, so four on five now, and, well, Mid territory might be granted here. Is this just Apex over towards window? Fashion and Molotov to work with, and that's not going to be enough. He can get bullied out, he can get pushed under position, and a Molotov's going to hold him at bay for information. We've got two towards A, one towards B, the lone man of Masuta. Mid control smokes now, one towards window, one deep connector, as this is very standard play. Apex well aware, wants to hold reins. Controller connector at bay for a couple more seconds, but he will be able to clear that out, flashes through. And now it's just where to phase one to group up and execute on because they have... And now it's just where to phase one to group up and execute on because they have this number advantage. Oh, they had this number advantage. Masuda taking space. This is good info. I lost holding it. Oh, but he adjusts and actually catches him. Won't be able to escape scar free. And Kirby, will he check his right? Well, but Apex. Much quicker to the adjustment. This is when things get interesting. Apex has two players advancing towards his location. He's already gone for a fight. Rain wins it. Now advantage phase. RPK rotates in. Shock split late to the party from Connector, but still just as the smoke blooms and another for the French. Brokey has to overcome it all now. Despite phase having an advantage, Vitality keep pulling these rounds out of the hat. Another clutch scenario presented. Rain failed. Can Brokey do one better? Both coming from Kitchen, he may not be anticipating this. And now, unfortunately, RPK is on the hunt. Oh, he's found shocks. And there's one close. Brokey saves FaZe Clan. Seven for him. Triple kill in the round. That is the first on the board for FaZe's map pick. They needed that. And that's put uh, the money situation of Vitality into question here. I think Masuda did a great job finding the first, but going down and then Brokey here able to mop up a one-on-two situation. That form from Overpass continuing here and Delatvian, he's continuing to show why he's one of the pickups of the year. I think when you think about him, Bantu, their names who were brought on in, I think it was late last year. There's some of uh, the biggest revelations we've had in Counter-Strike. Yakinda's another name that we've seen in recent times. He's looking hot to trot. Well, Zywu... He wants to be hot on Mirage. He's going to find the opening onto Rain. And that's going to put Vitality back in the driver's seat. Great grenade there. All the way through to the jungle position. It's like yeah, Apex. Just click like, instant instinctively. Oh. Hello? Yeah, what was that? Okay, well, FaZe, they do have utility. Mm -hmm. It looks like they want to be trying to 
maybe sell something over towards B. Olaf with the UMP is going to be clearing out towards the kitchen position. There isn't any aggression from Masuda in round number six. But look how many players from Vitality are close towards middle. They're all moving. They've all got ants in their pants. And the flash over towards mid, they want to clear this as a unit. They've called it clear. Connector peak, short peak, window peak. Nobody's home and now with smoke. So all that information they thought they just had is completely taken back. And they need to rotate to help Masuda. You can see Shonks is getting over here as quick as you like. Has to be the B finish though. 45 seconds left. They have Molotovs. Only one smoke to work with in a flash. It's going to come down to hitting their shots and trading efficiently. FaZe can't have a tricky set piece up their sleeve. We'll just have to be that brute force. 30 seconds. Molly will force shots. The double Molly really can't ignore that. Tucking in. Oh, and he's lost his life before Masuta could do anything. Needs more. That's a good and important frag. Enables Apex into the side. Dink into cold Zera. May not be enough if Brokey can get the land. The final shot. 30 HP for Apex. He has been hunted down. It falls to two men, RPK and Zaiwu, and already making their presence known in the kill feed. Looking for the 1v3, RPK. I certainly wouldn't write him out. He's even got a HE. He could dunk him. Brokey's low on bench. Finishes him off, and the swing comes in. It wasn't far off. He dinks him. RPK, a headshot exchange. His weapon just not quite as good. M4 VAK, Kiyomi saves phase. Boy, the back-to-back -back clutches. They've yeah, but just by the, the skin of their bloody teeth. Yeah, they haven't been easy. They've had to work for them, FaZe. And it came down to trading efficiently. They did exactly that. They took the space well and played off of each other perfectly. And Kirby with the shaky aim. You can see the giggle right there. Knows that he got away with one. <laughs> yeah. And it will be the save. So just the pistols out now for Vitality moving into round number seven. It was feeling so good in the early stages. These clutches uh, will be frustrating for Vitality to lose. Down to the finest of margins. Rush, you want to uh, come to a round, mate? How you feeling? Hello. Have you been stretching your vocal cords? A little bit. I was doing the little uh, warm-up exercise. Ooh. We go. Oh, exactly. Yes. I don't know what you call that, but uh, I believe my throat is very loosened. Um, is it now? Yeah. So um, anyway, um, um. looks like a B stack coming in here from the CT <laughs> side. A little boosty boosty going on. Uh, MC taken away, by the way. Um, and uh, it's USPs, you know, what do you got? A couple of P2, three P250s, I believe. So we've seen a lot of crazy stuff with the P250s. It crazy. requires a lot of them. But usually there's players without the head armor in most of those clips. So looks like the T's have fully bought the head armor. Very wise decision. And they're pushing on to RPK here. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, he does get one, though. He's not going to get any more. It was close. Could have got all five. I believed RPK is a tank. You put him in a spot. It'll kill everyone, but well, not that time at least. So, but anyway, all the CTs coming through CT. They want to do a waterfall effect here, which T is going to get the kills. It's always the hardest thing to figure out as an observer, but seven, number seven is going huge. Gets Back two, Kotzer gets one, Kotzer gets another one. It's very hard to speak. Oh, I does it? I yeah. agree. I don't Gosh, know how you guys um, do it, if I'm going to be honest. Alex and I wanted to ask a question. Sure. Um, so the, the Esport Awards voting is closing tonight. We wanted to know if the, if you voted for us. Do we, have, we, do we have your vote? I actually tried to vote today, believe it or not. And? Uh, it was very difficult on my mobile telephone device, so I'm going to try when I get home on the PC. But I, today is the cutoff day, right? Gosh, I want you to have voted before we leave today. And while we're doing sellout stuff, follow my Instagram. Oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah, same, same, same. I take pictures of buildings and my face. Those are the two things you can look forward to on machine.gg on Instagram. That's my promotion done. gg.bet is the other thing I'm supposed to say, and they are ready to get round eight underway. Bit of a mid stack. They've got two connector, two up towards ladder room and window. So kirby has got his work cut out for him as the smoke fades. I don't fancy his chances on the Zaiwu Sharks double peak, but it's not coming just yet. I like this entry pack though. The fact that you've got rain here with Kirby means that they can work in tandem in roles that they've been comfortable with and Brokey, the AWP, that's the perfect constellation. You get cold, you get all off the experienced members on the extremities, able to call out the utility, make some plays on their own accord. It's a good default spread here from FaZe. Look how many players are around middle. Yeah. All five members of Vitality here. It's crazy, and look how much space Kirby's managed to get. No way, and now Shox is getting flanked. Kirby gets moved. Oh my God, they're gonna ruin them. Fortunately, Shock saves himself, admittedly, for a heavy cost. He's down to 19, but that could have been even worse. Despite all that presence, Chad, FaZe managed to worm their way into some favorable fights. And a grouping A. They trade efficiently here. It's, a... it's an if, though. Because Apex 
very sharp. He only gets the one, and RPK spray does not cold zero off his perch. Oh, oh okay, whoa, whoa, careful. Whoa, whoa. Makes shocks even lower now, and the oh, he's so lucky. He'd have burnt straight away. One tick of that flame, he'd have died, but they extinguish it before it even starts to burn. Shock's just trying to catch a timing through the smoke. Brokey staring at him. I think he got the info. And so now, Shox is get handed a very, very unfavorable scenario. I think he's going to scarper. It's the right call, but that's the fourth round on the board for FaZe. And look, Vitality, they really want to stop this mid-default. And putting so many bodies on the line, it is difficult for FaZe to go, oh, well, we know that A-Ramp's clear and we know that B-Aps is clear. You don't know, right? You don't know that Vitality are taking that risk. But in doing so, Vitality need to make sure they're trading in their favor. And that wasn't the case. Not only did they lose multiple members, Shox was put down low, almost copped too many bullets from RPK. And that's going to be FaZe starting to get underway here on Mirage. Remember, this is their map pick. This is the map where if you want to talk about individualism in mid rounds, this is clearly in the top two of maps where you can just see players with experience take on over and the phase fans on the phase, all oh, the fan cams are uh, having a great time. You can see a couple of phase jerseys and pads and quite the cult following for the international super squad as it's four rounds on the trot here. Timeout taken from Vitality as they need to discuss their options. It's a backwards F and the C phase plan. I get it. It's backwards F and the C. It's F, C, backwards F, C. I always just thought that like it was a funky. Oh. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. I thought it was just a funky F in one in, with the, like a, a, a weird. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying there. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a backwards F and a C phase plan. Okay. Well, it took me a long time. I didn't I, it's know clicked. That either. It's clicked. Okay. Well, we're learning something here today. Uh huh. It just the problem is their C looks like a bigger F. That's the it issue. It does because That's of the, the little issue. pointy thing yeah. at the bottom. But then it wouldn't look right. At, oh God. Graphic design is weird, and we. Well, it's have quite got, an iconic logo, I guess. It certainly is. I wouldn't F with it. Okay. Well, Shox has the big gun, and everybody else has little guns. But these little guns, they seem to pack a bit of a punch as they've actually taken territory with them over towards ramp, taking a little bit of a risk and a B-side stack from the likes of Masuta, RP, uh, Zaiwu, and Shox. And Shox is just going to play in limbo here. So if information can get called out from the A defenders or the B defenders, he could be in the right place at the right time and hopefully get a couple of kills. But and, and put the brakes on. Something that Chan would previously highlight is that this vent isn't broken. The reason that Shox is floating like this is that he now has the sound cue provided uh, for that flank. So he can be a bit more flexible. He doesn't have to break that vent. And he can support either side with a little more of a sound cue for that B flank. So, as he continues to float, every step they take is in pursuit of info. Phase have given them nothing. Now the smoke's bloom. It is dead silent out there. This is the first sound cue that Vitality have had to operate with, and it's obscuring vision. So still not a lot of information being netted here from Vitality. They might get sandwiched over towards the A ramp position. Another smoke for Connector. That one's actually going to land jungle flashes as well. This is really regimented. I like it. Procedural. Yeah. Just making sure they're not going to fall foul to any funny business. He doesn't check his sandwich and Rain nearly drops his mouse off his mouse pad, I think. But he gets the frag all the same. And so it looks good now for the FaZe Clan conversion. Bomb down thanks to Wolof and rotating in. Don't forget, Shox does have the AK-47. So any damage inflicted likely comes from him on this retake. He does have a kit and everything he needs, but... Doesn't have the teammates required for a 1v4 retake. Oh, bye, Rain. A bit more damage here, but it's hard to see them winning a round even with the defuse kit on shocks. You can see they're waiting for his moment to strike, but just holding them at bay with a couple of bullets. Olaf said, no, you're not coming up, Masuda. You won't be pushing on in, and there'll be no economical damage done as Phaser looking to pick up. Okay, we get the kill. Brokey silences Masuda, and that's going to be the first time for FaZe taking the lead on Mirage. 5-4 to four in their favor now. Bomb goes off. Well, it's good to see them stabilizing, because let's not forget this started 4 0. We've just seen five in response from FaZe. That's one of the most awkward duels when it's on the vertical there, especially as you're dropping down. Yep. So, course correction there from Rain could have gone wrong because RPK had picked up a frag as well. And Shox, the man on your screen right here, does save the AK, does hold on to the diffuse kit, so he doesn't have to reinvest in a big way, but will actually opt for the AWP. He's dropped the AK over towards Apex. Vitality are fully kitted up, and the double AWPs was the answer over on Overpass. Once that came out for the CT side of Vitality, we started seeing them post a few more, but let's see if they can get the same done. Bottle to the face, and Zywin misses a sitter. Yeah, that should have been all off dead, and now the spray comes in, and he gets his revenge. 
punishes Zaiwu's hunt. Shock's not going to make the same mistake, though. Does manage to shut down the Norwegian. There's more where that came from. Cold Zero Court jumping. Finally, silence. Kirby trades. Now dropping a CT smoke CT. Interesting. Did not stutter. Now, where does that bomb come through? Kirby's got it ramp side. Olaf's working connector. And into the site comes Apex. He wants that AWPA. And I don't know if Brokey's anticipating this. He still thinks about CT. Yeah, he does adjust in time. Shocks wants to trade. And over the lip of the smoke, Brokey has scoured away and he doesn't oh, catch no. the cross. Olaf has got a behind enemy lines. Olaf's in a perfect position now. Face still have a minute left on the clock and they don't actually have to put their foot on the gas. Olaf's found Masuda. They know where Zywu was. B is open. The rotation can come in and shocks. What do you do? Nothing. I mean, even the fact that Brokey's got him locked, he can't cross connector. He's just completely and totally trapped on the wrong bomb site. Yeah, Olaf has CT. There's no rotations whatsoever. Brokey's even hunting him. Oh, man. If you get right IP, just AWP clearing dark. It doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Shock's actually down USP out as he tries to retreat. And wow, best Brokey puts his AWP on the floor and forces the rebuy. It's not ideal for FaZe Clan at all. Olaf is very close already. And you can see right now, Kyoby's pushing around towards T-Spawn. So they want to take this AWP away. Olaf is going to make it up the ladder. And I don't think Shock's is going to see him whatsoever. This should just be a free kill. Olaf's had so much impact in this round. Sketchy does get it. I've just taken a look at Overpass and the head-to-head -head between Olaf and, and Zywu, or Olaf's head-to-head -head in general. Now, he copped a beatdown from the likes of Shox and Apex. They were getting the better of him. It was pretty close in the duels between him and RPK, as well as Masuta. But one of the standouts was the fact that Olaf got the better of Zywu. Zywu did not kill Olaf a single time on Overpass, and Olaf killed him three times. And here, we've already seen the likes of Olaf dealing with Zywu. And if you bring Olaf in and he's keeping Zywu quiet or making sure he's impacted, is negligible at best. Well, that's the job Mission done. Accomplished, bro. <laughs> I wanted to go back right now and just check and see how many times in this game we've seen Olaf onto Zywu in the kill feed because it, it might just be a bit of an anomaly. Good question. Now, Vitality have been on a six round drought. We started Mirage, very strong, very competitive. Phase's pick, but Phase definitely have seemed to find a groove. Double flash. Kirby vulnerable to Zywu's peak. I wonder if he's going to do that drop. There's always something. There's always something. Really does seem like FaZe are keeping it simple, but keeping it very tight. There is no gaps in their smokes. The smokes are consistent. The default. Oh, is it FaZe? I can't believe Apex gets away with that. There was three bodies staring at him. Molly will force Shocks to cross back, and it cost him his life. Damn, burns down. Rain oh, finds Zywu. Look at the frags coming in. It's all FaZe Clan, finally. Something for the Vitality squad, and it comes in the form of Apex, but Olaf's taking space. A huge amount of it. Masuta's the only one to beat. Oh, Did you hear it? Oh, dear. B's open, and Olaf knows it. Kirby's even locked down the rotate. They're going to take another round here. Mirage T side. FaZe are playing a dangerous game, and it's working. There's a chance, but I think the Vitality should save. You know the bomb's going to go down any second right now. You've only got that Molotov. There's no kit currently picked up to go into this retake, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Back in towards Palace, Vitality want to hide, and this is seven on the board for fate. Like, you can see what the game plan is from Vitality quite clearly. They want to fight for mid control when FaZe are going for it, but FaZe are just postured and their aim stars are hitting the shots. They're taking the space and they're cutting off rotations. So by losing middle, Vitality are not only giving up kills and putting themselves in a number disadvantage, they're also losing their avenue to get back into the rounds. And this has happened several times. So at this point, Vitality have a few options. One of which, go aggressive on the extremities of the map and try and take out the stragglers, the likes of Cold Zero and Olaf towards Palace and towards v Absent. Or go aggressive mid with a mid control. Throw that top mid smoke. Get the Molotov. Get the Molotov behind the mid drop box. Smoke off towards underpass. Yeah. Take a fight. Change the pace a bit because FaZe look very comfortable at this stage of the game. We're about to go into round number 12. You're giving them what, they've, what they're hoping for at yeah. this point. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So yeah. just give them, some, give them the opposite. So if you know that they're going to take mid round after round, right, like this, and you want to go for this type just of coordinated attack, maybe have a couple more set nades or a couple more maneuvers that is not just bodies because that's what we're seeing right now. It's just let's pick and fight and hope we can win. But Vitality will opt just for the partial this behind. should be FaZe winning rifles. the half, dude. This is eight. Unless there's a miracle round coming through. Zywu does have the Deagle. I mean, yes, absolutely. Not out of the realms of possibility, but three unarmed... Um, uh, let him, let him, let him, let him. Yeah, I'm with you. Unarmored. That's a tough I'm, one. I'm feeling it. Unarmored opponents. There we go. There's three of them. I'm trying to think there's one that I... There's a word that I really struggle with. 
I've forgotten that. I've blanked it out Did, of my memory. Sorry? I'm bad at that one. Yeah. <laughs> that was mean. We are working on R131, three middle, using those same smokes we were talking about, consistent and frustrating. You can see great lineups and working as it does force out the defensive utility from Apex, wants to stop the walk up on that connector smoke. But the beauty of the timings are that he's got another five or so seconds before that smoke fades, so he can still take that info, take that space. He's up. Now this duel favors Rain by a large margin. He'll be able to see Shox's uh, thigh. Oh, they push for him. And he's going to get them both. Lovely handling of the situation. There is an armored member there, though. That's RPK. And he's on hot pursuit. In the meantime, though, they weren't ready for the boost. And Olof has gone down, but it doesn't stop FaZe finding the round. Why? It's eight. Eight in a row from FaZe Clan. They are in hot pursuit of a 2-0 here against the world number two. They're doing some complexity cosplay from yesterday. Right. Two more, and it'll be 10 on the trot. And that's what we saw come out in spectacular fashion against Fnatic. Now, keep in mind... I mentioned Fnatic, I mentioned Complexity. Well, coming up next is Complexity taking on Na'Vi. And if this is a 2-0, get your popcorn, get your snacks. You could even go for a little bit of a, a break. Have a matchmaking game before you're getting that one underway. That one will be coming at 6.30 p.m. local time this evening. That's CET. Na'Vi Cole. It's going to be a big one. I'm, I've got the couch ready. I made sure I cleaned the room before I left today. I don't need to do any messing about yeah, it. I, I think home. I'll definitely kind of kick back and, and pop that one on. I'm thinking about what I, I've kind of run out of takeaway options, Chad. I, I, I've spent so much time in this one place. Yeah. I've tried it all. You, you go, you walk up to Thai Imbus. I could do the, the Thai again, actually. I do love a little green curry. Or you go down to uh, the Hot Man off. You can get yourself a, Ooh, there's quite a few a Maccas? options there. But I go to, there's a, there's a place that does a bit of a stir fry jobby. That does sound better. And it gets me out of the house. Now we have got a full weapon round from Mary the side. And here's the mix up. There's a big mix up. And Kyobi's going to get tested. Oh, he actually gets one for one. And Shox actually pays quite the brutal price for it, too. I wonder if Rain can catch Shox on the retreat. The Flash was to try and help him. Oh. Oh, 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 nice escape. You can see the game plan and the support from Shox's teammates to enable him to get out of there. Yeah, you had to be very careful as Rain right there because if he had overpeaked and he goes down right. as well, then they've given away what does favor the T's right now a four on four. And the reason we say that is the CTs get strung out a little bit. There's lots of choke points to watch. And at this point, they have to make a bit of a gamble, a bit of a read. Also, for anyone, perhaps a newer viewer, they don't know the damage. You may not be able to report that he's 30 HP. And so Rain less confident in that peak than perhaps he would have been had he known. Oh, this could have been heard. And oh. it's been spotted. Olaf gets a freebie. RPK trying to take some space and find some info. He's going to fall. And now it's a three on four situation. Pressure towards B. Bomb coming in. And Olaf, oh. he's found another. Shocks oh, is Flash? Down. I think it might have been. No flash assist. It was a perfect dance. No one able to pull the trigger. I don't think that was really to be save disputed. Again. And they'll be forced to save. This is nine consecutive T rounds and B being the focus. Now, this is the change, though, from FaZe. They can hunt. They can chase. Look at the, mo the money right now on the FaZe clan side. You've got everybody there with 6K plus. At this point, well, besides Rain, everybody minus one. At this point, if you're FaZe, Get a move on. Start looking for these two remaining members, Apex and Zywoo. Try and take away their saved weapons because 3,400 is the max loss bonus round after round. It doesn't net the CTs a full buy. And you can see, having a little bit of a look, having a bit of a sniff around will be Rain through Connector. His usual haunt. Clearing out spawn is Olaf right now. And just containing, making sure he doesn't give away AWP will be broke. I'm not sure they're going to get there in time. Up the ladder, quick they go. Bomb goes off. Footsteps going to be harder to hear. Shots, that's easy to hear as Zywoo will take down Rain and eventually... Vitality will save those guns, but it did get dicey for a moment or two there, and this is all off. Just catching the legs of RPK as the smoke fades, and there's the second. Great work from Olaf. And frustration now for Vitality. They will drop down to the lower bracket here if they do concede this map. They're not out of the tournament. They did pick up a big victory just the other day against Spirit in 2-0 fashion. And FaZe to get to this point, beating OG again. That was a rematch of the IEM New York Grand Final. But does Vitality have anything in the tank? Can they post another round? It was four at the start. That's not a way you want to be moving into the second half, 11-4 down. No, absolutely not. It's almost impossible to, uh, to reset your mental state when all of that 11 rounds was accrued in quick succession fashion. Successive fashion. Rain still sticking around. Same rinse and repeat from FaZe's start. Cold lurking on the palace. Olof keeping that beat apps under lock. And oh, it's a big peek. Rain actually gets it off the back of Kirby's flash and he gets away. Oh, Apex, no. how has he gotten that spray control down? But it cost him another teammate in the process as he was extended. 
RPK caught in transition. This is all FaZe Clan, baby. Look at this around. A very convincing one of the most of the half so far. It's going to put double digits on the board for FaZe. This is their map, and they are dominating. This is real trouble for Vitality here. I think they're shell-shocked after map number one. Yeah. I mean, in the same way we were. We were we were kind of counting on Mirage being FaZe's swan song, you know? That was going to take them to the third. Well, I, I, I don't think that FaZe are taking too many crazy risks in the way that it's painted necessarily from having nothing to lose. Like, it, they're not just scrimming around, right? This T side has looked clean. They've gone for their mid control round after round, and they've been able to win against Vitality's response, which is try and throw bodies at middle and trade out efficiently, but it's not working whatsoever. And I wanted to see more from Zaiwu. Eight kills to his name. Unfortunately, not finding enough impact here today, and Olaf hunting to see if he can take away this final weapon. Masuta just with a Famous. He goes down any second now. The Vice Grip closing. He's trying to get away. Stuck over towards Kitchen. Has heard the footsteps. He will not fall. And I didn't get the AK upgrade. Cold says no. 10 on the board now as the final round of play about to commence. Everybody on Vitality has enough to buy other than Shox. He has 3,400. Might need to buy himself an SMG. Or a Famous. Suboptimal at best. And there's Cold Zero cracking open the site and finishing things off. Ace plan. If they close this up in two, those smiles might continue for a little bit more, as previously mentioned. Yeah, man. They're I through mean, to the playoffs with this victory. I mean, how, at what point do we do we start, pa you know, stop passing this off as a... Uh... It's just a little spike, a temporary spike that we can forget about. Okay, Brokey's getting pushed and it doesn't matter. Vitality tried to mix it up. They threw bodies into Palace and it's been met by force. A 3v5 established in the opening 20 seconds. And FaZe aren't rushing into it either. Look at them. They've just stopped all across the map, watching an underpass push, watching the mid push. They've got B apps under control, A ramp, and Palace. All five points of aggression for Vitality have been taken away and negated here. It's Rain. This is a cheeky maneuver. Up and over the box. Tried to use the smoke to go for a peek, but he will fall and Zywu eventually strikes. This is still losable. It is. I think it kind of hinges on Apex here. Now, if he gets the bomb, if he wins this duel on cold, this round gets very difficult for FaZe. He is in a position to do just that. Just like that, the bomb is spotted. And Olaf has to turn tail. Kirby partnering up with him. This is going to have to be a mid-round call now. Everything gets a bit more sketchy. Bomb recovered, 45 seconds. You can see Apex is confirmed to have left that bomb for retrieval. No resistance there. Oh, Masuta's has opted to push up. If he drops his smoke, I'm loving it. Drop your... He's pushed... Yeah, be very loud and Masuta can punish. Now is a prime opportunity. B apps is going to be smoked off, locked off. Masuta is going to get his fights he hoped for. Oh, and Olaf does live. Admittedly, with only one HP, I don't think he'll be able to survive that cross. But it is enough for Brokey to be baited in. And a 1v1 established. Both of the Orpers, both of the stars of their respective shows. Orp 1v1, folks. It doesn't matter about the HP. It's about that bullet. Brokey. Trying to visualize the center of his screen, the dot invisible to him, but he's got it in his head. Ready for the quick scope. Oh, he could be vulnerable to Zywu's peak. He can't adjust in time. Saved by the Zywu, but it's only the fifth. A small consolation. The first four were in the first four rounds of play, and five is found in the 15th. Phase Clan 10, Vitality 5. Take a quick break back with the second half. Mirage continues in just two minutes.
Locking out the sun if we need Maybe we can change our stripes and colors You're the only one I see And I take it all on Take it all or nothing at all Driving through the night till I'm at your door Go outside Stay up all night Sleep through the sun Now, how much of that OG win for FaZe Clan was just smoke and mirrors? How replicate how easy to replicate was it? Well, they took overpass. That was Vitality's pick. And now they're in their home domain and they're proving it with 10 rounds on their T side. I'm Machine, I've got Chad Virtual with me. And well, Vitality, you can see just from the cameras alone, it kind of does tell the story of a team that are looking to knuckle down into what could very well be the last half of their game tonight. It's an official, it's a big one. In pursuit of the uh, days off and the playoffs of IEM Beijing. And up ramp they come. Doubling up in dark. Yeah, it's quite the stack. And pff, well, Zai was P250 is as much more precise than Brokey's USP. And a flurry of frags favors the French. Only Olof. He does have a kick. Oh, no. Oh, that's huge. Oh, He's no. He stopped the plant. Cold Zera's shot has genuinely given them a new chance. A two versus four, but they're peppering away. No shots hitting, but Colts has found another. Makes it a winnable 1v2, no armor. Body shots will hurt. Needs Apex. Can't punish the jiggle just yet. Oh, it's too much now. Runs out of bullets in health. And Vitality, unnecessary pistol provided by Apex. And Zaiwu's double kill. Him just driving by late out of that ramp position. Gives him their first. Yeah, and you could see there, Brokey, he didn't want to go down, but he probably had to, to allow that stack to actually come into true fruition. So Vitality, all eyes drawn to the shadow and multiple frags coming in as the trap that FaZe had laid. It's unraveled very quickly, but they will bounce back with a force by if Vitality convert this. That's both pistols and both conversions. That should be enough to win a map. Oh, Brokey takes a spot, doesn't take a shot, and he'll be forced away as multiple smokes into the mid window. Damage done to Kyobin. It looks like a fast B split. He's going to find the first side rebounding into the side. Oh, no issues at all. What force by, he says. Brokey has managed to peg one, and maybe, Good. yep, Zai was going to get dunked on. That's the bomb plant denial, but it does look like he's retreating anyway. Just making things slightly more costly with a nice dunk on his scout shot. Another tough one to get back into here. We were talking about the same situation for Vitality when FaZe were taking middle and then being able to split onto a site by denying rotations. Same situation here as FaZe have lost B early. Nobody on the site, no real damage done. And with only these 
force board and deagles and scout it's probably better to bring them in and fight another day see if you can get luckier with a slower pace from vitality in round 18. scoreline will quickly trickle on up to 10 to 7 in favor of phase but how long can they hold on to and maintain this lead the t-side was great it was very procedural and 17 for Brokey so far. Managed a massive bag of kills over there on Overpass with that upset on map number one. How much more is going to be asked of him here on map number two? You can see just the jumping Mac 10 making Zaiwa a harder target and the pace there from Vitality. I don't think that was expected. Nice bit of bowling there. Puts top spin on that one, did Brokey. And we can see Cold Zero has a P250. Olaf. Maybe just we'll be rocking the USP. You've got the carried across Deagles and the smokes remain. So let's see how they're applied going into the next round of play. Round number 18 has kicked on off and back towards middle. Vitality go once again. Faze will be joining him. Well, <laughs> Olaf's dead. He was going to join him, but uh, bullet straight to the head. That's Apex. Nice to see the scout continues to be a preference of his in the new look. They are wrapping up shorts so Same rapidly. Again. Yeah, it's working though, because cold. Yeah, you peek in, you find four of them. That's way too much. Brokey has hit a great shot. Rain onto the Deagle, and now we'll tag it up as Iwu as well. Good damage. One more would have made it competitive. I fear this may not have been enough, though, for the CTs to do much. It's Rain with an armor Deagle. Kiabi the same. And they still have no info on the uh, potential for Kitchen. Could be pushed. Kiabi's ad addressing that now. Rain arriving with a scout as well. We were just forced off the line by the flash, minimal so far. I think damage is his name of the game here. Yeah, he might find RPK. I think that's, that's one scout shot's worth right there. If he was to find that line on the retreat. That's why they okay. dropped the util. Well, new escape avenue has been decided upon. Vitality want to exit through CT spawn. So out kitchen they go. Shock's leading the way with the MAC-10. And he'll escort those saved rifles safely away from the bomb site. Round eight now on the board for Vitality. So what was a very commanding first half from FaZe, that lead has been whittled down very quickly, and now we get underway with the first gun round. This is where we see how much fight FaZe Clan have. If they win this and are able to convert a second off the back of it, they could close this one down quite quickly. But this pace from Vitality, this is more what I would have been expecting from FaZe on their T-half. Theirs was a lot slower, a lot more direct in... Their mid approach, this is a bit scrimmier, but it was just against the pistols. Vitality trying to remove some of the risk. And again, they're going to opt in with two Mac 10s. So this spells something that might be a little bit faster here. Interested to know how far those Mac 10s get them. There is head armor on every member of phase. A bonus T round. Strange, they opted to buy into those. Like yeah. Shocks carried one across, Masuda forced into one. Well, trajectory of that nade at least gave Masuda an indication that somebody was in connector. Brokey with the orb, a very crucial role to play in this round. The bomb's there as well. They will have an inquisitive look. But will it be a jumping SMG? And is that a shot that Brokey's capable of hitting? Jiggle. Starts his hunt. Does find the first. There's more where that came from. Repeeks in and takes off Saiwu's head. Those SMGs can't win that duel, and Olof providing some supporting fire. Kirby arrives and peppers them from afar. Could be an RPK double. Oh, he's so close to finishing off the job. He can't finish. He can't. And Brokey manages to collect a third and keep himself alive. Great shooting from Brokey as he passes with flying colors. The first test of the CT side. And important there for them to keep CT side. And important there for them to keep so many members alive because for FaZe to reinvest in this stage, it just means an org will be reported for Kyoby. And there's those shots again. The final one is Brokey mounts the van and turns out RPK's lights. Now, there will be enough money for the likes of Vitality to buy in again, but they have a clear indication of leaning towards B in the last three rounds. That's the two anti-ecos and the first gun round all towards B. Let's see if they want to change it up now. Does look like an A, at least with the bomb's trajectory, but let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Down middle, Kirby with an org. It's very powerful. Oh, the close range of this as well. One bullet to the head. Yeah, I can't find anything, though. Good fragging from Apex. This partnership actually aggressing very fast towards A, and Brokey, just before the smoke blooms, manages to keep things level. 
for hunting the frag onto Apex, but look how much space they have on A. Rain's basically given the A site to them. They'll be playing retake, and it is a viable strategy. <gasps> not if Rain gets found early, but he does deal with Masuta. That's huge. And the bomb's still not down, despite all of that A control. Vitality have been twiddling their thumbs. They're out of smokes now as well. They have to plan, That's they the have plan. to plan now. RPK can be stopped though. Not if Saiwi wins this duel, he has. And so the bomb can go down uncontested. And Olof winning his duel over the flames. Running out of util now, there is an incendiary on Olof, but shocks on default. That's Rain's mission. It will come down to timing and angles. Oh, Rain's been found, nice shooting. Shocks, jiggles, confirms. RPK wins his duel, it's all onto Brokey. He's been so good for FaZe. How much better can he be? He wins it, closes the gap. Bombs planted for RPK. Can't see him. Now he can and he hates the shot. I don't think he has the time or the health for that Molotov. He's gonna take the risk, oh. doesn't have it. So close to perfection from Brokey. It will be Vitality's round. He had to try and get on it as the flames were there, but the damage inflicted was just too high. Close, so close. Good attempt there from Broken. You can see the impact. If he didn't take out Apex, they probably had no shot. Rain's done his best, and Olaf even mopping up Zywoo. was fragged, though. That was the one, I swear. And the fact that RPK had a Molotov as well HP. for the bomb, those two mollies in exchange, it's just like, ah, that's a rough way to go. As you can see now, that the money for both teams is on a knife's edge. They will buy it back in. It's Glass Cannon for Brokey. This is a game now. Vitality have come into this T side and managed to close that gap to a point where we are riding every round with uncertainty and they stick to these smgs on b they really want to just get that first strafe out oh my god oh my god no one's looking no one's looking from phase olaf still punishes brokey trying to pick up the pieces it's enough for olaf and the frags it's all brown falling down just rpk in that apartment's left apex is there as well looking for a late arrival but this one has just fallen absolutely flat Oh, that is a really huge round for them to walk away with. You can see the money situation on Vitality now. The fact that these have been back and forth, the Lost Burners hasn't been able to build to a point where it will net them consecutive buys. And now with 12 rounds for FaZe Clan, 9 for Vitality, they need to consider, do we go for a force here? You're only getting 1,900 in the next round. I can't believe they were able to stand and defend there. You have to point to Olaf and say, that's some big play, and that is a desk slam. Apex is frustrated after that one. That's straight out of the classic Death Slam encyclopedia. We've seen that many times. Just Glocks. Flashes to try and get set those Glocks up for some overwhelming numbers. Oh, this is 13. This is going to spell trouble. Four Glocks and a P250 with flashes. Make us lose our minds, come a little, on. A little existence timeout, if you will. Shox is still at spawn, just talking it through. Everyone have a deep breath. Maybe, was that with the mouse hand he death slammed? Oh God, imagine. Uh, I've done that before. No, to be fair, I do death slam with the mouse hand. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's never a good idea, guys. As, as if you need your movement keys while you're raging. Yeah. <laughs> your hands are still on WAS and D while you're slamming. And the thing is now with the wireless mouse, when I de if I death slam real hard, uh, it bounces off. Yeah, it's It's not getting slave saved by the mouse cable at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have to reconsider my options. I never, I've never thrown a mouse. No, I've uh, definitely punched a, thrown a wireless punched mouse. A no, I've thrown a wireless mouse at a monitor. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's in recent history. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Rest in peace, my G Pro. Good shooting. Yeah, be getting himself the double. Problem solved now. Oh, hello. You made a step. I hear you. I'm on now. <laughs> what got I see? <laughs> did. I don't like that at all. Couple of Glock dinks. There you go. That's a little bit of economical damage. It's a kill. One ain't bad. Brokey's going to get another, and he's up to 20. He's going to end this two-game series on 60 frags, dude. Brokey is nuts. Yeah, that's a game. That's a real good game. I'm going to just quickly have a look at his last couple of performances and see just how much he's been doing for this squad. Because, look, Brokey, for those of you not familiar, he was just picked up as a, as a little bit of a... An unknown. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll grab someone out of the dark. We'll hope it lands, and it's definitely landed. Wow. Got a full Formula One helmet on. Mm. Well, it's not ideal for the T side, and that's in multiple facets, both in weaponry and utility. That's why I'm surprised they didn't go for the force buy in the last, but either way, they've been able to get their best buy on the trot. Let's see how they go. Kirby's, that scope's gonna be heard, my friend. Yeah, he used it to bait the shots. 
No, it's not going to connect. They'll re-smoke it. I, mean, I wonder if Apex is being Ooh. spotted on that cross. Sprokey is in a position to deal with it. Misuta, however, has given Vitality a way in. This A hit worked last time. Maybe not when Coltsera <laughs> shows up in the feed. What was that Get triple defense? Here. Sends him packing. And shocks. Yeah, he's walking into Kirby. And that will put the 14th on the board for FaZe Clan. This is getting very troublesome for the French fans around the world. International Counter-Strike continues with the nothing-to-lose mindset seeming to just incite more fragging from FaZe. They look great. This doesn't get easy for Vitality if they drop down towards the lower bracket. They will have to play the winner of Mad Lions vs. Fnatic on Wednesday. And then they have to go through the gauntlet. We still have Na'Vi and Complexity who will be in that lower bracket as well. So that's quite the run you're faced with. It's a real, not a death sentence, but yeah, you, you're going to have an uphill struggle from then on. It's a tough task, that's for sure. Mad Lions were looking good. They were looking polished, especially on their they map. They really choices. were. I liked watching the uh, nuke. And what was the third map? Uh, overpass. We overpass. Overtime. That was good, yeah. Well, this is about to get real scrappy on A, but it's a retake setup from FaZe Clan here. They don't need to get involved in any of these fights. They just need to stand tall over towards Window Room and Connector. As long as Rain doesn't die towards CT spawn, they can contain Vitality. The smokes come over, the Molotovs and Flashes to follow, and a great nade there onto Apex. Yeah, they're swarming into A. Rain knows it. He decides he's better off not just getting gray screened and would rather play the retake. It is utility and pistols. Calm down. That is the bomb. Kirby's got a great find there. Spray is wild. Masuta caught on the push. Shots Open vulnerable. They haven't finished him off. RPK maybe has just a moment to grab a weapon. Not to be. Brokey got it quick on the scope. 15 found for FaZe. And this does really look like the dying breath of Vitality in the series tonight. Look at the fact that right oh, now... Our Vitality... apology. The guy's going to tweet us again. Oh, it's fine. We're jinxing them every time they keep we winning. Are, clearly. The, the lack of plant there, look at the buy. If they were able to plant and get the 800, it would be a full buy scenario. But Apex on a scout, three Galils, RPK with an AK and no utility. They are working with four flashbangs, one smoke, and one Molotov. Round 25. They're up against the wall. They really are. Brokey actually get, gets clocked. Down. 70 damage inflicted. Oh, Kirby, that was a little ambitious. He's given him a freebie. Swings out from connector dry. Maybe even just the one flash, but they tuck out. And now there's four members of the Vitality squad. Is Olaf taking some liberties here, or is it just getting that full apps control? Yeah, okay, he'll pause. They can leave him here, though. They can give up Catwalk and play Olaf in a sleeper position. Rain's also going on a fact-finding mission, so attention can be drawn towards Connector and the window room. Hey, Rain, is he playing to contain, or is he playing for a frag? Because if he keeps going forward, Shox is waiting, and Shox is caught off guard. Rain's leveled up the field. Yeah, man, I'm really surprised. A really big one, four shocks. Brokey just hit 30 as well. A dirty 30 found, round 25. They are starting to bring the bomb towards the A site. One apps, one ramp. Zaiwu to be the late arrival. Oh, <gasps> he can't arrive now. Very late arrival because he's dead. Just Apex, RPK, or FaZe Clan are taking it. It's a four versus two. Reigns tucked in on the site after his funny business on ramp, and he loses his life, but Brokey doesn't miss much. Apex to clutch. Double kill so far on a bomb plant. That's certainly two very big steps in the right direction. Cold low. Olaf might be forced to do this, and he is working on a flank. It's going to be a question of when he chooses to walk. Apex is miles away. Hunting for the 1v1, finds it. Now, where does he expect Olaf to be coming from? Because he is working up ramp now. Walk key's hit. He's tucked into default. Olaf has a bit of an advantage here, but the adjustment from Apex is very possible. <gasps> Looks away. It could be a freebie for Olaf. It's all about timing. I think he may have been coming up. On the balcony, doesn't have the info. Time's getting sensitive now. Where are you? Oh, Olaf, no. Completely and totally not. Should be knifed, I assume. He's not hurled it. He's just walked off. Well, that was a kooky round. It will be Vitality's. What the Very odd turn of events what there. What the hell was that? I don't. I think he thought. <laughs> I think he thought he was like Palace or something. Yeah, that was a confusing end. But Apex, he saved them in a similar situation on overpass, but on the CT side with a massive 4K. Here's another massive 4K, but in a fashion that's a clutch and one that maybe was handed to him on a little bit of a silver platter with how Olaf finished that round off. But it's a round that they need as Vitality managed to survive, and now they hit the double digits with all five members going down. The cash money, it ain't great. They're by once again. Galils and one AK-47. Utility looking better this time round, but FaZe, they have no complaints. The AWP's back out. The M4s are there. Kits are plenty. Head armor's looking good. As long as they don't give up the opening kill this time, 
It might be FaZe walking away with map number two. Out Palace, it's going to be a pop. The nade's real good. Oh, that really softens him up. Unconfirmed damage, though. That's confirmed. Rain's taken a scalp. Doesn't finish off RPK. Can't even be finished off by Kirby. The swing comes in. The smoke is there. Shox is flanking. Kirby cooked. Traded. 2v3. There's chaos in the server tonight, but Apex has found a lovely angle of vitality. Dominate their way through that round. Double kill from Apex. Very comfortable. And looks like this last burst of competition from Vitality is looking the best we've seen from them. Yeah, Apex really doesn't want to lose this one. Starting to take the game by the balls here. A lot of impact in the last two. Ale, Ale, Ale. Is that like, let's go? It means go. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, we're learning in all the languages now. We've got Davai. We've got Offgate. Yep. And Ale, my copa. Oh, let, ew. It's a save round here from FaZe. Two Deagles, three USPs. Yes. Now, don't you dare. Don't say it, Chad. I want to say that this should not be a FaZe Clan round. <laughs> However, every time of the last two days that I have made that statement with conviction, for it doesn't matter what team, uh, they seem to pull a rabbit and then a lion and a bear and an oh elephant my. out of a hat. Uh, so let's see. There we go. Apex, silence is rain. And the B stack. It won't be found out from FaZe, but at least they'll find the A is open. So pushing forward, Vitality clearing out the side as we get the Dead Man Cam. It's a new one. We've been experimenting with it. It's one of my favorites as Masuda will finish off Cold Zero, finding Olaf. And that's all she wrote for round 27. Brokey doesn't even have a pistol right now. Eventually, let's get the Zoogle. And Masuda's looking sharp, but he needs to. They're eco frags. They're uh, what we do for the stat padding. They're some of my favorites. Pat statting. So we've got ourselves a bit of a game here. Phase secured 15 three rounds ago. Vitality at the time had nine. We are 15 from 15 to nine to 15 to 12 and a 30 bomb drop by Brokey who continues to in a star studded roster be the shining light despite the absence of the CV to back it up. So fully bought, everyone's got everything they could desire. Shy of a flash perhaps for Brokey and Olof, it's not the end of the world. Well, it's not like FaZe have any issues with the pressure here. If they don't close, it's not like, oh man, we were so close. We've been training for so long. It, it's a matter of, uh, can we just finish the game off? Is someone going to get us a multi-kill and, and zip Vitality up into that body bag? They double vent room. Oh, this could be great for Cold. He's not going to get the fight initially, but Masuta may. Have a look. Timing's everything. It's about to be smoked off. What's his response? It's actually Zywu catching Kirby. That's twice we've lost Kirby on that connector position. It's costing FaZe a little here, but they will see the T-Smoke Bloom to set him up for success. And Zywu's got another one in store for us. Where's that off to? Jungle side, I imagine. Very deep as well into jungle. That gives them some good A control. Just Brokey, Olof. It doesn't look good for FaZe here. Maybe Brokey can find something, but it would be off the back of a mistake from Vitality. No mistakes from Shots. Oh, the frags. Everyone we cut to is getting massacred. Looks like you got to stay with Vitality if you want to even see the follow through of the frag. Well, now Olaf, he is going to do his best to hold on to this M4, but nothing to lose. And they can rebuy every single round here. Vitality, they may as well chase and take this M4 away. Going into the next round, FaZe won't be operating with a lot, and that pressure is still being applied. RPK goes down. Olaf does not want to let go of this M4. 2,900 loss bonus in the next means it will have to be the save from FaZe. But having an M4 to bolster some deagles. Oh, I think the timing works out for Zywu here, you know. Last second, unless Olaf has a glance, he's going to get shot in the bottom. Yeah, the window room player of Masuda can make some noise as well. Just bait him in. There's the barrel. It's been spotted. And oh, <laughs> yikes. There was a that moment. Strafe, that little strafe. <laughs> Okay, well, this should be the 14th. Whew. Vitality will just go up against a light buy from FaZe. But they've come all alive here in the last few. This is now four on the trot. They've managed to swat away FaZe's last few attempts. And you can see there Zawa with a bit of a smile on his face. Knows that that one could have gone very wrong very quickly. Whew. Well, Deagles and FaZe never want to write them out. Let's see if they go for a stack they aren't. That's nice. It actually does give them a bit of a better chance at some survival and some early frags. You need one or two. Make the round awkward for the T's early. And they are walking into Palace, which Apex is holding. They bait it. Nice. Okay, so they've confirmed at least there's Palace presence. That's info. It's minimal, but it's info. And Broku's actually going to gamble with them. He's heading to A. It's the right call. Only pistols, I remind you. 
couple of careful on Vest distributed to some of the harder hitters. Apex throwing out the molly, that's push. going to incite them forward. And yeah, he gets the first. Rain needs to hit this Deagle shot. He has pit peppered away at him and does eventually finish the job. So now there's an AK and a smoke in play, but they will lock him down and they know where he's playing from. Oh, wow. He actually continues to apply pressure. They're all looking at him. He's managed to generate so chance. much pressure. It should have been cold finding a Deagle at that moment in time. Instead, he bides his time. No one looking. Oh, now they found him out. Masuta squanders the chances of face plan this time. Unless Olaf's Deagle's really up to snuff, it's just an unarmored rain. Saving from that one frag onto the leader of Vitality squad. Oh. Okay, well, these last four have been very clean. Very, very. They've only dropped a total of, what is it, two, five. They've only dropped a total of six players in the last four rounds. So Vitality have really found a new lease of life. And that was all with Apex and that massive clutch on the A bomb site. Now, will FaZe take a risk? Is this the time where they want to opt for some aggression on their own? You can see Apex now having to pour out the orders because as they go into the final round of play, is this comeback all for naught? FaZe will be the ones taking the timeout. Actually, their first here on Mirage. They could have had a couple of opportunities in the last flurry of rounds here against that of Vitality to actually sit down, take a chat, talk things through. But without a coach to question, have just been following the flow of the game. Apex leading the charge, 25 kills for him. Zywoo's come alive, 23 to his name now, 22 for RPK. Masuda and Shock struggling a little, but it doesn't matter as we go into the final round of play, round number 30. So double orcs being pulled out from the FaZe Clan defense. And I can't help but feel that these last slew from Vitality have been determined by the opening deaths. Yeah, has been uh, Kyoby giving up a couple on the gun rounds especially. So I really want to see a passive Kyoby on that connector. Like, don't have to give them what they want on those initial... Ooh, wow, Olaf's actually pulled it off. He's got the double orb peak in mid. If they actually go for this, this will be hard for the French to break through. Zaiwu is scoped up and plans to peek off the back of the run boost. So this is on Brokey, and he's actually just been yeah, distracted he's up. by the util. Kirby does push up, and this time his aggression is rewarded. Can't see Olaf hitting the shot. Brokey's gone down, and Vitality have an advantage. Mission accomplished. They're heading B. This is a gamble now. Where do FaZe want to lean the majority of their forces? We can see that Vitality are retooling back towards A. They've got enough utility for a standard hit. Smoke towards CT, smoke towards the jungle area. Molotovs are good. Rainers has a lot of pressure on him. If Olaf can get into that CT orb line in time, I have to be worried about so many avenues right now, FaZe. Cold's rotation that is miles away. Finds Zywoo, that's colossal. Makes things very flash. awkward. The flash for Rain's peak, it could be there. He needs to find Masuta through the flames. He can't. Two on three. Bomb, 40 seconds. No rush for RPK. He's going to drop his util. Throws the smoke towards Connector. That's fly through, flying through the sky now. Olof. Maybe can catch a sandwich cross, but it would be very small margins. They're not gonna even going to give him the chance. As he looks away, they cross. Pressure to jungle now. Cold's miles away. So detached. Bomb's going down. Cold did tag up Masuta a little bit. But from so far away, it reeks of overtime. Olof naded down. They know exactly where he is. Cold's making no secret of his advance, and that's easy shots for Masuta. All on to Olof then. Running out of time, running out of chances, and running out of heads. Taken from him by Shocks. We're going to overtime, boys. Wow, what a resurgence from Vitality. That was a bit of a, a reconnaissance mission from them. They just got six in a row. And now they're coming into overtime with a very new lease of life. 25 for Apex, 23 across the board for RPK and Zaiwu. FaZe Clan looking to take their map pick in OT.
Over time, are really nice to play because you you got a lot of adrenaline and it can it can stump really easy. So you never know how it's gonna be. But in the same time, it's really exhausting because uh, it's at the end of a match. So you definitely have more uh, power uh, to to play. So when it comes to overtime, uh, I like to say that uh, it's the team who's gonna do the less mistakes uh, that's gonna win. Couldn't agree more. Shocks. Setting the scene for overtime between Vitality and FaZe Clan. We're getting into it now. It is MR316K. So what the weapons, less of an issue. The money and economy, less of a conversation. It is about who will make those fewer mistakes, as Shox highlighted. We're back into the fray. Recapping what we've seen so far. It's been a triple fret of Apex, RPK, and Zywoo that kept Vitality in it in those final six rounds. Some great multi-killing from Apex. But uh, for Vaze to get this far on their map pick, it was courtesy of, well, lovely Dirty 30 from Brokey. And into the round we go. Kirby's been having issues in middle in these last few. Getting caught out. Could have very well. Oh, he's caught that one. Caught well, down again. Masuta's overthrown, though. His Molotov, $400 just extinguished by the smoke. It's good that Kirby actually copped that because now he can maintain connector control. You can see... It hasn't actually landed exactly yeah, where I they see. wanted, and Kirby's actually able to push back in. So maintaining a lot of territory and information here, important as a minute now on the clock, and well, rotating around. You can see that FaZe don't have anybody on the A side. It's just Rain playing retake. And that looks like where Vitality want to end. It was working for him. It was working for him repeatedly. Brokey. Just getting here. Yeah, and it is a good time for him to be arriving. That incendiary actually, what's Zywoo doing? Oh, it's so deep. It burns him down to 28. That works out lovely. Deeper than he anticipated. They got 30 seconds now. If they had a smoke, they do. They're going to start deploying them now. Here they go. Molly's first. The suitor jiggles. Hard shot, but Rain hits it. It's only the heads, and he's got two of them. Looking great. Oh, oh the final bullet finds the head of Zywoo, softened up by the Molotov. That's looking great for FaZe Clan now with 10 seconds left. Apex has managed to get the bomb down. And RPK is fragging, not like this. Oh, runs out of bullets. Change. He actually swapped and Apex just gets overwhelmed. I want to see how that... Did he run out of bullets or was it an accidental uh, swap? Maybe it, maybe it was out of bullets. I didn't catch it. No. Quick swap, though. It could have been a very important duel. I thought Vitality were going to do another one of their ridiculous turnarounds. That would have been wild stuff. When Apex is still alive, you can see how fired up he's been and a lot of impact fragging from him just to get them to this point. I just want to pick up on what Shock said. It's about, you know, minimizing the mistakes in overtime. I actually wanted to see FaZe start maximizing the risk because I think they were a little bit too timid mm. to close out the tail end of regulation. 
Here they didn't need to take any risks whatsoever. They just needed rain to get a show-stopping 3K as they tried to go up ramp one at a time. That last shot, I know Zoe was low, but still to hit the head. Yeah, man. Last bullet, how satisfying. Oh, they're going straight in this time, setting up the execute off the bat. It's just the default top mid smoke to feign their mid control. And Rain, you're going to be under pressure again. He is. Can he do it twice in a row? He's got Palace on lock. Who's going to support him? Brokey's still looking at middle. God, there's a lot of work for Brain here. That's a good incendiary. Means he can buy some time for the rotate of his Ooh, teammates. Did they miss the smoke towards ramp? Here they come. He can hear them. Rain tucked in on dark. They're dropping in. That's the bomb. Confirms it. Here comes the overwhelm, though. Masuta does trade, but numbers still one to the good for FaZe. And Masuta knows exactly where Kyirby is. Doesn't have to give him this fight. He could be wall banged. Bomb's going down. Kyirby doesn't move a muscle. Good spray. Oh, but the flash is caught, caught him completely. Cold Zera sets his teammate up for success. Apex again, one on four. Can do this. Flash is high. Knows there's one CT and gets the fight he was waiting for. Brokey down, fresh mag found, tucks into Tetra, 72 points of health. Cold Zera's trained on the location. A pre-fire doesn't find him. They need to get across. Apex knows it. Got to get his timing right. They might double peak though. And this is the contact he needs. No more time for all the boys to wait around. FaZe, don't throw this away. They've got a smoke, they've got a kit, they get across and they get the frag. Seventeen for FaZe Clan. Oh, that's a close round again. I felt Apex. He might be able to Dude, do I felt it as well. Again. He's playing some inspired Counter-Strike right now for Vitality, but it's not enough. Asked to do an absolutely gargantuan task. I will say, though, down to red HP. the way they played that 1v2, by going default, he just made sure that there was never going to be that double spray down. Yeah. He's opened up an extra avenue for FaZe to be able to get that peak. And oh, the time got me nervous, though. Damn. All right, last round of the first half of our first overtime of our first game of our third day here at IEM Beijing. Let's get into it. Oh, it's not towards A off the bat this time. It's more aggressively towards middle, and they want to try and exploit that Kyirby gap again. They played through the smoke a few times. Kyirby, he's pinned on in. The Molotov, he's forward of it. There's on a bit of a timer. He's going to need some help to get out of dodge. I don't like that nade. It's going to be so indicative of his location. But the resmoke arrives, either. and the resmoke does not let him get out. Completely scar-free. Heavy mid-presence. I want to I want Kyirby out of dodge. I think if they're playing Brokey in rotation and too heavy to over towards B, maybe just completely give up the jungle and window area and play a little bit more of a retake. Uh, Ele a Electronic side. plays this angle, and I was very impressed when I saw how it plays out. You'll see where Kyirby was. I'll come back to it when you see it next time. Too late now. Alice Gould. Four in middle, though. They've used underpass to gather. They've, they've gambled on B as well. Oh, my God. What? Huh? That's just straight through the smoke. The smoke banged him. And that's going to get the rotate. Brokey's on his way. Rain's got info with a wild smoke spray. He could get caught from Palace. Sharks is the threat. Rain knows it. Oh. And the bomb in middle found by Kirby. Getting the frags necessary. Not going to be a spotless round, though. RPK and Shocks have come to play. Cold Zera knocks RPK on his bottom. 1v3. Bomb can't be retrieved. And Brokey secures it. That's spotless from FaZe. But I will remind you that, yes, they did manage to find 10 rounds on that defensive side, but it was on the T side, FaZe looked a little lackluster at times. But Vitality after stringing together so much. Let's see what FaZe can do on their T side. Well, remember, one of the keys to the successful T side of FaZe was mid control. It was the standard play, that three pronged attack, broken on the AWP. Kirby matched with Rain as the entry pack harassing towards Window and Connector, able to take a lot of space over towards Short as well. And then you have the veterans of Cold Zero and Olaf playing the extremities. If they want to go for what worked as the initial gun round here, what response will Vitality look for? We saw them opt for the double orb. Shocks and Zywe picking that up within the later stages of their CT half. And this time round, that's not the case. It's just going to be Zywe with the big green. Full utility for everybody. And head armor now for Masuda and RPK. Boys, it's overtime. You can be buying that. You can be getting yourself the head armor this time round, but they've just gone with the Kevlar. Oh, thinking yeah. this might be a long one, thinking this might be a costly one, but if they can't win this, it's all done and dusted. FaZe will be picking up map number two and the series. Let's see how this one starts off. It's rain that courts, or rather caught, a little bit of flack there from those nades, and he does get across for the cost, and there's now a bottle of flame with his name written on the side of it. He lives to tell the tale, though, and so 5v5 continues into a crucial round for Vitality. They do want that opening kill. Where does it come from? Certainly not going to get it on the B player. Apex could... Ooh, gets info. Spots Kirby on his jump. The 
there haven't been any risks taken from Vitality here other than the fact that it is just that solo B defender. Not a lot T side, bro. It is curious. It is. It might just be for space saving uh, for Olaf just to hold a line and make sure that they can't push, but even still, it is a risk. It is overtime. You have 16k, and it is a scrimmy looking phase, so why the bloody hell not? But if Olaf was to peek and catch him a suit to sleep in or push, push him for info, you know, jumping for something, that would definitely spread misinformation. He might even go for a late round play up through Cat with the AWP if they can get an open plant. But first and foremost, they need to get past RPK and Shocks up close on the balcony. You've also got Zywu overseeing things from Connector with the AWP and then very, very close is Apex as well. It's going to be a three-player palace pop. One towards ramp. This feels good for Vitality. Oh, they go. Call both. Yeah, Cold's actually managed to get both of those frags, and he hasn't lost much health for it. Now the bomb can go down. Uh-oh, maybe not with the incendiary down. Cold's going to be cooking, but it does stop Kirby. He gets the bomb down just in time. There was eight seconds left. Cold has saved them, and now they just have to convert. Through the Molotov, he had 30 HP. He just gets it down in time, and that could be enough to seal Vitality's fate. Brokey could be hunted down. Apex has dropped a smoke, but it's not going to stop the bomb from being defused. It's all on to Masuta now, trying to get close to that bomb, picked away at all of his teammates, and he's found by Brokey. Faze have done it. They overcome Vitality at 2-0. It's a dream run in the face of adversity from the international squad. Smiles creeping onto Kyrgyz's face. He knows what he's achieved. It's a big scalp to take, and they sail to the playoffs.